Hi, this is Tom Sitchdeva, selling condos in Toronto, and today I'm here with your friendly realtor, Jazz Jagpal. And so, Tom, what are we discussing today? Uh, today, I'm very excited to discuss the building at Scarborough Town Centre, uh, the 60 Brian Harrison Way. So, Jazz, tell me, give me the basics of this building first. Well, the basics of this building is built by Monarch back in 2005, and these are the original high-rises at Scarborough Town Centre. Twin towers, and each has 37 floors at 10 units per floor from floor level 3 to 33. There are also five penthouse floors, and there are a total of 347 units in this building. So Jess, what percentage of this building is tenant occupied? Well, about uh, almost 50% actually, Tom. So because it's so close to Scarborough Town Center, uh, it's a great in, uh, choice for tenants and investors to to get them rented. Yeah. So what is the average rent for a one bedroom and a den or a two bedroom unit? One bedroom plus den easily goes 1400 and two bedroom up to 17. So Jazz, what are the different type of floor plans available in this building? There are one bedroom units, one bedroom plus den, one bedroom and a solarium, two bedroom, two bedroom plus den, and a three bedroom units. So what are the average prices and the square footage of these units? Well, the smallest one bedroom, which is 547 square foot, for an average price of about 215,000. Uh, the one bedroom plus dens, the north facing one is 629 square foot, and there's two south facing units, uh, 661 square foot and 699 square foot. The, the east and west facing uh, one bedroom and solarium units they go for an average price of 235000 The two-bedroom northeast and northwest facing units, uh, they go for around 280 There's one two-bedroom plus 10 unit at southeast corner, which goes for an average of 330000 And the three-bedroom unit also on the southwest corner goes around the same amount, $335,000. What is the uniqueness or what are the unique units in this building? Well, there's a couple of unique units uh, in Equinox One. The one bedroom plus then the largest 699 square foot unit, uh, it actually has two bathrooms in it. So it's highly recommended. It's an O1 unit. And um, the, also the Southeast corner two bedroom plus den unit in this building uh, and the Northwest corner two bedroom unit, uh, every other level uh, you, you'll see floor to ceiling windows. So yeah. Jazz you mentioned the average price of these units. What is the average size of these units? Well the one bedroom I already said is about 547 and the largest three bedroom unit is 927 square foot. So your average size is between 547 to 927. So Jazz are the parking and a locker included with these units? Yeah actually all the units have one parking and one locker. So just tell me how much is the maintenance cost and what is included in the maintenance cost for this building? Um, the maintenance fee is about 78 cents a square foot. Remember that includes the parking and the locker and it's also all inclusive. So it includes hydro heating, your water and everything. So you don't have any additional bill. So on, if you look at the Scarborough Town Center as a whole, how do you feel about the maintenance cost on this building? Well, it's pretty good actually as a whole because even other buildings where if you pay about 50 cents uh, without your hydro and heating or, or and you're paying that on in addition, you're looking at about 20 cents. So for the location and the amenities that you get, uh, 78 cents a square foot is pretty good. It's pretty good. Yes. Yeah. Jess, what are the amenities which are offered in this building? Well, well there's two levels of amenities in this building. So this building includes a designer decorated party room complete with caterer's kitchen and bar that opens onto a large landscape private patio. It also includes a fitness room with TVs, with relaxing steam rooms and virtual golf area and a theater for private screenings. There is a billiards room, table tennis room, cards room on the main level. The second floor amenities feature guest suites, a swimming pool, and the most attractive feature, buying feature of Equinox Phase 1, which is the catwalk outside to get to your movies, 
to get to your restaurants, go shopping, and even take the Scarborough RT buses and uh, you know, RT train. So that's pretty amazing. That's pretty good feature for uh, any building to have. Just which are the most popular units and why? The most popular units are the south facing units uh, because they get the greatest amount of sun. The builders actually make them the best units of the building, uh, quite frankly. So the south facing units sold the fastest. Uh, there's also larger two bedroom plus ten and three bedroom units, so which is great for families or for seniors who are downsizing and they want to be right close to Scarborough Town Center and be able to shop and do everything with in, in the convenience of not having to go outside. So Jess, what is the pet policy for 60 Brian Harrison Way? Uh, every condo, as you know, is unique in pet policies. So it's very important when you're buying to know what the pet policy is and if you have pets. So in this building, uh, you could have one dog or one cat or both, but not two dogs and two cats. And the maximum weight for your pet should be 30 pounds. And you must be able to hold them and take them in and uh, provide vaccination reports uh, and register them with property manager and give them a picture as well. Jess, how are the unit finishes in this building? Well, since uh, Equinox uh, by Monarch is an older building built in 2005, uh, the unit finishes are pretty standard and they don't have the upgrades that uh, we are accustomed to today. So you would, uh, most units will still have laminate floorings, uh, bedrooms might have broad room, and uh, you would probably have to invest a little bit of money in, to upgrade the kitchen from the white appliances to stainless steel appliances and put granite counters in. So overall, I would give it an average, but remember, it's still a great location. What are the schools for this building? Well, the primary school for this building is St. Andrew's Public School. There's also North Bendale Public School. The high school is David and Mary Thompson Collegiate Institute. And for Bendale a Technical School as well. The university nearby is UFT, Scarborough Campus. You also have Centennial College and Canadian Business College. Jess, what is the walk score and transit score for this building? Well, the walk score for this building is 81. The transit score is 97. Uh, so it's very walkable. Uh, all the amenities are nearby. Your fresh go, your, your you know, restaurants, uh, superstore, uh, Scarborough Town Center. Why the transit score is so high is because Scarborough Town RT station is right there. And you could literally just walk through your own building from the second floor to it and never have to walk outside. So if I was to work downtown, how much time would it take for a, a morning commute? Morning commute, uh, you're probably looking about 10 minutes to the Kendi station and another half an hour or to 35 minutes to Union Station from there, yeah. Uh, just name the top three features for this building. Hmm, good question, Tom. Uh, I would say the main one is basically catwalk right into the Scarborough Town, RT Station in Scarborough Town Center. Uh, that would be top of the line. Number two, you know, there's a skating rink right, right there at the... Uh, at Civic Center. C at Civic Center. And just across the street, there's also a dog park. So, so if you're a dog owner, you know, it's a great uh, two minute walk to the dog park and you can let your dog go free and enjoy himself. So those would be the top three, uh, notwithstanding the great amenities uh, in the location itself. Jess, how would you rank this building on a scale of one to 10? I would probably rank about 7.5 out of 10, though it has great location, top of the line amenities nearby and within the condo. Uh, the negative obviously is that it's an older building and the units unless the homeowner had upgraded them, uh, they're average. So that's why I would rate this building a 7.5 to an 8 out of 10. If you want to see more properties for sale, the condos for sale, click on that link below the video. Subscribe right here so that every week you can see new condos, get introduced to the new condos. And don't forget, visit our website. Call us when you're ready. We're always there. Call Tom Jazz to buy and sell.